Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a plan with me in my Hobonichi weeks for the first week of April 1st through the 7th. Before I actually get into the plan with me, I wanted to quickly do, I guess this is kind of like a very short haul, um, but just kind of show you some of the stickers that I got from Starfish and Frog, um, which is the shop that I will be using stickers from this week in my Hobonichi. I've actually purchased from Starfish and Frog before. I believe the shop owner's name is Shelby. Um, but I could be wrong with that because I'm bad with names if I've never met the person. Anyway, um, my point is, is that I have purchased from this shop before. I did do two spreads in this previously. Here's one using um, a pastel, like vibrant pastel brights kit, and then one using this. I filmed those like a month ago and then got really busy and was never and never had a chance to edit them. So if you'd like to see those plan with me's, even though they're like literally a month late, um, I will go ahead and upload those like later on in the week if you're interested. Um, if you are, so leave a comment down below and I will upload those. But um, I am going to be doing a plan with me using um, this particular sticker kit here. So let me just go ahead and show you what I got. So. Starfish and Frog on Etsy. Here is the website. And this is just a little freebie of different deco items and other stickers that she has on her website. I believe she makes, draws all these doodles herself. The dino stickers are just really, really cute. And I wanna get a whole bunch of the dino stickers, um, except that they don't match anything else that I use stickers with, but they are so super cute. Um, these are the store's characters, Starfish and Frog, and they're just these really cute little kid-like characters in the Starfish outfit and a frog outfit. So here are just kind of a sampling of things that you could purchase. And then she has two different Hobonichi style sheets. So these are roughly the same size as the Hobonichi, a little bit shorter, as you can see, a little bit smaller. So they'd be perfect to tuck into the actual planner. The sheets are a matte, but they're a really nice matte paper. And as you can see, they are super vibrant in color. And here's the first style. So the first style has a wide sticker at the bottom that would go for, that could be used as a bottom washi. The, um, it has like heart checklist with these like scallop edging, a bunch of flags. This here is washi that could be used to divide the grid space on the right side. If you account for that um, far left, like narrow box that people have been using to put their weather tracking. And I'll show you, I'm gonna use this sheet, so I'll show you how wide this is or isn't. Um, but this would not, this is, this here is not the same width as these uh, longer strips. Then some rectangles for appointments, uh, your date covers, a to-do and a this week header, and then some individual dots, and then a little starfish, or not starfish, this is frog, little frog payday um, icon there. So super cute. So that is the first style of sheet. And then the second style of sheet is this one here. And as you can see, it's very, very functional. So these are just a bunch of these rectangle labels, more rectangle labels, just different designs with the dashes and then the scalloped um, border. These are individual dots. These are individual dots. These are four heart checklists that are um, connected this way. And then you have your date covers, the this week and to do, and then this little paint splotch here is also a sticker. So as you can see, really functional. If you have a very busy week going on, then you can use, you could use these stickers. I actually prefer this one, this very functional style, because I feel like um, with this, these little flags I just don't use as often and I'm not, I don't really use the scallops as much. Like to me, I prefer the stars rather than the hearts, but um, I really loved this color pattern. So I wanted to use that today. I'm also planning on using some of this washi, not all of it. So the top three washi are from Simply Gilded. These are the classic bow washi. These two, I believe, were from a... Um, this might have been a May, May or June. I think this actually might have been June of last year from the um, subscription service. It's like a sea, I think it was the sea theme, whatever that kind of um, like sea glass or I'm not quite sure what the names are. 
for the washi. Um, and then this one is lavender with gold foiling. These all have a light champagne gold foiling. These two down here are actually from Michaels. They're from one of the like foiled washi, like thin five millimeter um, washi tube sets. And I just thought that between those four or five washi, I thought that it matched the colors really well. Like this is a little bit off, but it kind of goes along with that, um, this color here. Then you have this more purpley color. I mean, they don't quite match, but I think I'm going to use them anyway. This is a pretty good, dar uh, gosh darn good match. Um, so anyway, as you can see, those are what I will be using. So let's go ahead and get started. I am, this is last week's um, spread. I didn't film this one because I thought it was going to be just um, mostly pen and this you've kind of seen a little bit before but I did change this up. I'm probably going to use the same layout this time but um, not going to do the progress reports because I don't have to do that this week. So I'm actually going to start with the outlining first and I do not have my Hobonichi Weeks um, dashboard with me. I left it in the other room. So I'm going to be using this piece of cardboard uh, as a straight edge. I will use anything as a straight edge. And lesson learned from doing these Hobonichi videos, I'm going to outline first because that is better than trying to work around washi afterwards. So for those of you who might be new to my channel, I have received um, several people who have subscribed to my channel. So I wanted to say welcome and thank you for subscribing. And for my returning subscribers, thank you for continuing to support me and watch my videos. So for those of you who might be new, you might be wondering why do I outline? Because it does take a little bit longer and technically the lines are already there. And actually I like that the lines are very light in color and I wouldn't normally outline. However, I like to divide my Hobonichi page in half. And if I were to divide my Hobonichi paper in half, if I didn't have the rest of the of this side of the page outlined, it looks a little bit weird. It's that single divided line stands out too much. And so because of that, I over time have decided I'm going to outline all the boxes. And really it doesn't take that much longer. It's I think the biggest thing is choosing the right pen that is a thin tipped that's not going to like smear and bleed over everything. So when it comes to pens, I've had a lot of questions. What's the best pen? What should, do I suggest? I am someone who likes to use really, really fine tip pens. And I know that that's not for everybody, um, but it is for me. I am a lefty. And so while I do tend to turn my paper completely sideways rather than like do the like hook angle, I also find that I still get ink on my um, hands and I feel like anybody, even a right hander, if you're using it with, with this Tomoe River paper, it's really nice because it doesn't, there's not a, usually a lot of bleeding. There is shadowing as you can see, but not bleeding. Um, however, what is bad is that you do have, um, you do have the ink sitting on the top of the paper and it takes a lot longer for the paper to dry. I think that's a little bit crooked, but I'm not going to be worried about that. I actually can't really tell. It's a little crooked, whatever. Um, it's fairly straight, straight enough. I can just tell it's a little bit crooked from that shadowed line on the other side. All right. The other thing that I'm going, the next thing that I'm going to do is put down my bottom washi. And I think I'm going to use, do I want to go more blue or purple? I think I want to use this really thin, like five millimeter washi. I like Simply Gilded washi, but I definitely want to use some of my other washi as well because Simply Gilded sometimes I feel like gets all the love and we forget about all the other washi. 
and I just like to rip my washi if I can. I'm also just lazy, so that's a lot faster for me. And then I'm going to lay down this sticker. Oh, so the, to kind of finish my train of thought, the pens that I use are the, um, I use a wide range of pens, but I tend to use the Muji um, hexagonal um, gel pen in the 0.25, or this kind of more like uh, milky clear um, barreled, Muji gel pen in the 0.38 and um, I like both of them they're very thin tips they tend to dry a little bit faster than a 0.5 um, 0.5 I like to use on other in other planners but not in the Hobonichi if I can help it and I also use those pens for journaling as well in my A6 all right so just going to finish, whoops, laying this down. I kind of like this idea of combining stickers. Like I've always been like one to add stickers in my planner, but I definitely want to include washi and other things outside of um, the sticker kits as well. Okay, um, so for Starfish and Frog, the shop owner does separate each of the date covers, which some people like, some people don't. I have kind of mixed feelings about it because I feel that, um, actually these are big enough, I don't need to do that. This can get a little bit tedious. But I also see how this might be best for her layout on the sticker sheet. On the positive end, you can, it is a tiny bit smaller than the actual lines, the actual like border of the Hobonichi. Um, so the lines that I've drawn, you can see that. And I do kind of like that actually, for the most part. All right, so that's what this looks like. And then I was thinking for the top, Maybe I wanted to do the blue for the top because I like to have a top um, set of washi here. So just for sake of ease, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the planner around. So this 10 millimeter washi actually fits almost perfectly at the top. Okay, and I'm just gonna do that on this side. I used to take my washi all the way to the edge of the page, and then I found that I actually liked having that little tiny bit of border. Um, so I follow the grid lines and the out and the um, the lines of the actual planner now. Okay, so. Here's what I have so far. Okay, in the past, I think I'm gonna do the to-do. No, no, no. This week is going to go here. And I'm gonna put it right in the middle because um, for those of you unfamiliar with how I plan, I like to have all of my work hours plus other events here on the far left. What I did last week and I liked, um, so I'm gonna continue it, is to put kind of just a very quick like jot down of like things that I did during the day that's not a to-do list. So for example, um, I had like a pizza dinner with, um, I had pizza for dinner with my husband and we watched some YouTube videos. You know, that's not a to-do list thing, but I wanted to write that down. So I'm gonna put that here. And then I was actually thinking, here's where I would have my to-do list. However, I wanted to have a divider here. One thing that I found is that if especially with the starfish and frog, they don't have really long, um, like thin washi strips, but starfish and frog has these little, has this like decorative border for 
um, her sheets. And I found that those are really great thin washi. If you have the time and the patience to do, to cut them out. So that is what I'm going to do here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. And then lay this down as my long vertical dividing strip. So let's see, how much of it do I actually need? Okay. So I need, okay, I'm gonna have to cut this a little bit thinner than I thought I would. There's this very, very light, like this color blue, um, on the other side of the purple. And I thought I could include it, but I can't because the, that label here, overlapped it a little bit. So if I cut off the blue and leave the purple, then I can, I won't have the border problem as much. You can still see a little bit of the black, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so this is what I do to create that really thin, very, very thin border. And I've done that this with some other um, shops as well. So last week, last week meaning like this past week, because I'm filming this on a Sunday. So this week was really eventful for me. I got to go to, I'm a big board game, board game fan. Um, we just don't get to play board games as often as we would like to, my husband and I, because our friends and ourselves are just busy, you know, life, we're adults. Um, we have work and other commitments. But my husband and I went to PAX East this past weekend, which is a board gaming and video gaming, basically kind of bringing together different gaming genres um, into one big convention. And it was overwhelming and amazing and so much fun. And I'm really glad that I got to go. And I definitely want to go back next year. So I went this year on Thursday and Friday. Thursday was actually a slow day, which was better because there weren't as many people, but Friday and then Saturday were sold out. So by the time we got tickets, we didn't get tickets for Saturday. And then my husband didn't want to get tickets for Sunday because he didn't know like how, how much of the convention would actually be like packed up by then. Um, so we just went Thursday and Friday and it was just a lot of fun. Okay, so here, these little starfish borders, you can actually see that they are not the width of this side. They're not even the width of the whole um, grid pattern, but they are perfect if you like to have that little line. This would be a perfect divider. So what I'm actually gonna use this for is to divide and create this tracker. So this is gonna be just above Saturday. I'm gonna use this. So that would be perfect. There we go. And then I don't think I'm gonna use another border. Oh, you know what I could do? Because this today header looks a little bit weird, just kind of sitting like that, I'm gonna do this. And then put the today over that. Yeah, so then it doesn't look like it's just kind of floating. Like this one, I was able to minimize the amount of like that it's just kind of sitting on the actual paper. But this one, yeah, I, really, I like that a lot better. Then it creates this almost like a border. Okay. Um, let's see, what else am I going to do? Oh, and then here on this side, I'm going to end up putting, um, steps. I don't know. I'm not a weather 
tracker. I mentioned that in my last video. Some people said that they do track weather because they like to keep track of it. Their weather changes quite often and it does here in Boston as well. Um, I just, for me, it's just easier to use my phone. So, and then I forget to write it down and you know, I don't, so it's hard for me to remember. Um, and then I'm just lazy really is what it comes down to. Okay, what I'm going to do is place, or what I'm doing right now is placing these heart checklists down to create my to-do list. So anyway, we went to PAX East and it was a lot of fun. I got to try and demo a bunch of different board games. And it was really neat because you get to meet the creator. Uh, the creators and developers of these different games and that was just really cool to me. I'm going to use these for my work schedule. So I really like kind of meeting and talking to the different developers and hearing, you know, how they got funded through like Kickstarter or where they got their ideas from or the new games that they're thinking of and developing. It was just really cool. Um, I got to meet the developer of one of my favorite games, which is Anomia. Anomia is a card game that is um, like vocabulary or word based and it's just a lot of fun. It's like a fun party game. So I got to meet the uh, creator of that and that was really cool. And then I also got to meet um, the lady who created this game called Fire Trap, I think is the name of it. And we ended up purchasing that game. It was really cool. Um, it's about like spreading a fire. <laughs> um, oh wait, I have an appointment down here. Okay, so let's see. Oh, Friday is payday. I put payday right in the middle. And... I think that's it for right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out. I'm probably not gonna talk through this part because otherwise I'll be super distracted. And then on Saturday, so this is my work schedule. Monday, I don't have any classes um, because it is the first day of the term and I do not work when there, when it is the first day of the term. Sometimes I do, I do some extra hours, but not this week, which is good because I have other things I need to get done. Um, and then on Saturday, I have a hair appointment. And that is at 11.30 a.m. I have to get my hair um, cut and then dyed. All right, and this side, like I said, will just kind of be keeping track of things I've done that week. I think um, I might also have, my husband's doing this board game um, thing at his school and he invited me, so I might go to that. I just have played, and then today I'm playing board games with friends. So many board games in the last week that I am, have played or will be playing. Um, it's kind of a little bit like almost too much. Like my brain is almost at max for the amount of board games I can play at once. All right, um, like I said, on this side, it will be things that I've uh, kind of like my daily log of what I've done. I think I'm gonna do steps here. I might do like steps slash, um, I think I am gonna outline this even though there's a border. Um, steps slash weather, I might do both. You know what? Let's try it. Why not? Let's try keeping track of the weather and see what happens. All right, so I'm going to outline this. Oh, and then yesterday I saw Dumbo, the new Dumbo movie by um, Tim Burton. And you know what? Overall, I really liked it. 
Um, I think my biggest issue is the CG. Um, and the CG itself is not bad, but it's a little bit weird because I think it's just because Dumbo's ears are so big because it's Dumbo. And so because his ears are so big, like it looks weird. Like he doesn't look like a normal elephant, um, which is part of the story, right? And so um, I'm like, how can he be a regular elephant? But he's not a regular elephant. He's an elephant with enormous ears. But I think it was the eyes. His eyes to me seemed really big for a baby um, elephant. And I know that babies in general have big eyes, but he seemed like he had really big eyes. All right, I smeared a little bit down there because I didn't use a straight edge, but whatever. Okay. I'm, so I'm thinking I might do like, maybe I'll do a triangle. I don't know. I feel like I'm like going too much overboard. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there. And then as I fill in the weather, I'm going to do the weather in the mornings because I do have time in the morning to kind of look at my layout. So I'll probably do the weather in the morning and then the steps from the night before um, that same morning. Okay, so here are my to-dos. And then the last thing here is just my tracker. I'm gonna pretty much follow the same tracker as before. So I think for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and use this little label here. Do I wanna do that as tracking? Is that gonna to be too small? Maybe I'll do like a flag and I'll turn the flag this way. And then put tracking. I've been seeing people do like lettering and a lot of YouTubers um, have really beautiful like hand lettering like this sort of thing but better and I've been trying to practice a little bit but it's very discouraging time consuming requires motivation and dedication okay I like how that tracking looks though all right, I am going to be continuing with meditation. I didn't, I need to meditate today. I didn't do it yesterday. I, I, I attempted yesterday, but I just wasn't in the mood. Um, journaling has been really bad all week, so I gotta continue with that. Reading has been good. Vitamins has been non-existent, so I need to start getting into that again. Puzzle has been good. 15 minute tidying has been good as well. So, let's see. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. All right, I also added a yoga or stretch because it's something I've been trying to get into and then just really not been able to. All right, and then because I want to, I'm gonna go ahead and add these little squares in, completely extra and not necessary, but I do like the way that these little squares look, especially once they're filled in and because I have this stencil. The stencil is from Hobonichi. Um, it's super easy to make these squares, so I do like them. So, yeah, Dumbo was, like I said, it was a good movie. I had a little bit of issues with the CG, um, just because I think his eyes were a little bit too big, but maybe that's part of the, the fact that, you know, he's his face, his head is bigger than normal. But otherwise it was a really cute movie. I thought that cute in the sense that like, you know, it's Dumbo and there's elephants and I love elephants. Um, it is a little bit darker because it's Tim Burton. Um, 
it is I thought they did a really good job of adapting it so like you know how in the cartoon the elephants talk and the elephants are the ones that make fun of Dumbo um, in the book or sorry in the movie they changed it right because obviously they're trying to make it it's live action with humans there's not gonna be um, talking animals and so I thought they did a really good job of adapting that and including all of the animal characters without making it so like I don't know I just felt like it, it fit everything fit really well like they even had the stork which I thought was kind of interesting although the stork didn't bring a baby elephant because that doesn't actually happen in real life um but the stork did make an appearance so I thought that was kind of cool it's like oh they did do that my squares are getting a little bit messed up here at the end because I don't have a flat surface the stencil is hanging off the edge all right so those are all of the squares and then I think just because I think I might I don't have it with me right now but this is a coffee monsters co no spend tracker so I think I'm gonna put another one of those trackers down there and then um, you know what I don't even know if I'm gonna need all of these heart stickers but I'm gonna go ahead and use them anyway so I can use up the entire um, sticker sheet because I like using as many stickers as possible and not having leftovers. All right. So now the only things that we have left on this, um, so here's what the kind of thing looks like. And then the only thing we have left are these, um, what are this three, seven, the seven dots, and then this one checklist, which I could put here if I um, had space. Do I actually, do I wanna do that? Do I have space? How much space would that leave me? Maybe I will do, I'm gonna cut off one of these hearts. And just make it a two heart checklist at the very bottom. There we go. And then I'm gonna shift everything up so that the colors match. Because I also like symmetry. Ordered chaos, right? Where the colors are like varied but yet it's still organized okay I will use this last checklist and I'm gonna add this last heart and even though it's only one heart that's okay because it's the right side so it's like going upwards okay so now all i have left are these little flags i have this one appointment label for something that might happen on saturday and then i have these little dots so i'm going to actually just move everything over to the um to the side and then cut this down and put this in my planner I don't quite know what I'm going to use the dots for. I guess I could use them. I could interplace them with the um, flags to create more like interest in the um, like uh, shapes. But that's pretty much it. And then like I said, I might put the Coffee Monsters Co. No Spending Tracker there. But that is what the finished spread looks like. And um, obviously, I will fill in with different things, different appointments and things that I have as the day progresses, and I will add these stickers in as well. So this is actually what's, um, I'm going to tuck this back into my planner, my planner cover. 
This cover, for those of you who are new to the channel and not familiar with it, it is the Foxy Fix Perfect Fit cover. I do have a review of it um, in my channel. I will link that um, below in the card and in the cards. Um, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. For all my returning subscribers and returning watchers, thank you for your continued support. For my new subscribers, welcome and thank you for joining us. And if you are not yet a subscriber but would like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. Click the subscribe link down below. And then also, if you liked this video, please like this video as well. Have a great week and I hope that you have a great start to your April. I will talk to you down in the comments and see you in the next video. Bye.